Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, my Democrat colleagues once again are seeking to hijack our securities laws to push left-wing political and social agendas, despite dressing it up as investor protection once again. Make no mistake, this bill will increase costs on publicly owned companies, discourage private companies from going pub public, and frankly, could encourage not only private companies to stay private, but even have and entice public companies to go back to being private companies. This is going to result in fewer investment opportunities for everyday American investors, also known as our constituents, who are saving for retirement, a college education, or simply looking to just build a better life. In short, this bill will increase the number of government-directed mandatory disclosure requirements on publicly traded companies, which will increase compliance costs on companies and divert company resources that could have been used to create more jobs. Now, to be fair, this is a job creation bill. However, the only jobs created by this bill will be for special tranche of attorneys and corporate compliance coordinators and the occasional scientist. Not exactly what people and economists would call productive types of jobs. Under this bill, public companies would be required to disclose environmental, social, and governance issues, as well as, quote unquote, climate risk. These metrics would be set by the Securities and Exchange Commission, not Congress. Descriptions of any expenditure for political activities and donations to political candidates or trade organizations by executives, these are duplicative of existing requirements, for example. The ratio between the pay raise percentage of the company's executives and the pay raise percentage of the company's median employee. This is in some ways duplicative of the mandatory CEO pay ratio disclosure that Democrats put in the Dodd-Frank Act, which itself is an essentially useless metric. And country-by-country -country tax and financial reports from multinational enterprises. This will upend the current country-by-country -country tax reporting rules overseen by the IRS. Let's be clear, my friends across the aisle are using the federal securities laws to implement their partisan wish list of social policy priorities. They're doing it through mandatory disclosure regimes that at best tangentially related to actual investment decisions. To be clear, if information presents a material investment risk to a publicly traded company, the company is, wait for this, already required to disclose it. That information is out there for those companies that have material risk. Materiality has been and continues to be the touchstone of our public company disclosure regime for more than eight dec decades and has actually even been affirmed by the U.S. Supreme Court. It has held the test of time and we simply cannot just discard it to appeal to the Democrats' progressive agenda. Our capital markets are the best in the world in no small part because materiality is the basis of our disclosure regime here in the United States. Yet, my Democrat friends apparently want to throw it all away for the sake of appealing to left-wing, quote-unquote, stakeholders. Additionally, H.R. 1187 will greatly expand the SEC's jurisdiction by requiring the SEC to promulgate disclosures on environmental, climate change, political spending, tax reporting, and foreign policy issues, among others. This is not the sweet spot for the SEC. It does not have the experience in any of these issues and is not the appropriate entity for determining these metrics or industry standards, nor is the Securities and Exchange Commission the appropriate entity to review and enforce such disclosures. The SEC knows how to regulate materiality. That's their expertise. They're not climatologists or climate scientists. They're not elected uh, election law experts, and they most certainly do not know international tax law. That is, my per that is the purview of the EPA, NOAA, the FEC, and the IRS. Furthermore, smaller public companies will bear the burden of additional compliance costs. This bill fails to account for the impact it will have on smaller businesses and companies, especially those who are looking to go public or May I, maybe I should say, were looking to go public. They certainly do not have the infrastructure or resources to spend on fixed costs of compliance like this. 
1187 will result in fewer investment opportunities for American investors. It will discourage private companies from going public and encourage com public companies to go private to avoid these burdensome new non-material and useless disclosure requirements. Sadly, this will hurt the everyday investors, our constituents, that the Democrats claim they want to help. In other words, this bill stands to harm everyone saving for retirement, a college education, or just looking to build a better life. This is just a bad bill, and I urge a no vote on H.R. 1187, and I reserve the balance of my time.